Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a Marshalls haul. I am so excited to show you guys the things I got. A lot of this stuff was actually on clearance, which is even more exciting. So if you're interested to see what I got from Marshalls, then go ahead and keep watching. Alright guys, so before we get into this video, I want to remind you that my giveaway ends tomorrow, Friday, January 15th. I will be picking two winners and I will be announcing them on my video, on my blooper video on Saturday the 16th. There will be one winner for an Ulta $100 gift card if you're in the US, if you're outside of the US. I did decide to do a $100 Amazon gift card and the second winner will be getting a box of beauty goodies sent to them. So make sure you enter. I'll put the video in the description and the video will be right here. Yeah. I went to Marshalls in hopes that I would find like a lot of things that I wanted. Um, I haven't been to Marshalls in a really long time. However, they didn't have like a lot of stuff, but I did find quite a bit of things on clearance, which was really exciting because hello, it's clearance. Am I right? But I was just kind of like, eh, like with the stuff, I guess because it's the new year, they're really still trying to get like all that stuff in. I don't know, but it was like empty. My husband came with me and the only thing he got out of it was a, ba a pack of socks. I was like, you didn't find anything else? He goes, nothing. And I was like, really? And he's like, there were just socks just saw. I feel like I got a good amount of stuff like I said but it was I didn't have a lot of options but I did some digging and I got some stuff. I've been really enjoying doing these hauls for you guys. I hope that you like these videos. If you do then just make sure you comment down below. I try to get a haul video up once a week. I may cut down that because I just feel like I'm really just getting a lot of stuff and it's overwhelming, um, especially since I keep track of my stuff. I have a whole like spreadsheet of my products and stuff just for like insurance purposes. So I just feel like maybe twice a month or something, I don't know. But if you guys wanna see a haul from somewhere, it can be anywhere, it can be one brand, it can be a store, then go ahead and comment it down below and I will check that store or brand out to do a haul. All right, so the first thing that I got, I needed some new loofahs, so I saw these and it was $3.99. This is the Gal Pal Lush Poofs Skin Softening Sponges. You get two of them. These are pretty, like these are thick, okay? And they were $3.99. I usually honestly just get the ones from Walmart that are like a dollar, but these are like, these are really, really dense and thick. So I really like that. And I figured it's $4, so $2 a piece, but they're really nice. So I got quite a bit of lashes. Quite a bit. So the next thing is the Eyelor and Vegas Nay Lashes. I've been getting this brand for quite a while. I get it from either Ulta or I can get it from Target or TJ Maxx, wherever. I honestly, still to this day, have no idea who this is. I don't know who Vegas Nay is, but those are the lashes that I get. I really do enjoy these. So I got Shining Star, which is I believe all three of these are Shining Star. Okay, so they are all the um, Shining Star style. So I'll go ahead and show you these up close. They're long, but they're very wispy and feathery, which I like. I really enjoy, I really enjoy a more movable and flexible band. So I really like these for that. And these were also $2, so steal. So these can really range anywhere from $7.99 to $12.99 on Ulta. I'm looking at the app. So to get each of them for $2, like that's amazing. And then I also got Eyelore and Anne Lay or Anne Lee in the um, style hashtag so fancy. So I'm assuming she is a vlogger because this says the vlogger series. These are a more thicker and more full lash and I just really wanted to try these out. I do like these a lot. Again, I don't know who that is, but she's obviously a vlogger. And I'm assuming that Vegas Nay is actually an Instagram beauty guru because this says number one Instagram beauty guru. I mean, I don't know who she is, so. I mean, she's number one. She's number one. So I got those for $2 as well. Again, these were a steal. To get these for $8 total, that's amazing, especially when they range from $7.99 to $12.99. So the last lashes that I got were the Ardell Professional Wispies and these are just the Demi Wispies. I use these all the time, but I got this pack for $4. So basically it was a dollar a pair of lashes. Like that's amazing, amazing. 
and these are just they go for they're tapered so they go small and they wing out towards the end i always have to cut my lashes so i can't find the four pack on ulta's website but it looks like just one pair is like 4.99 so that's actually really good that this was only four dollars like that's amazing now i got quite a few other things makeup related and just as to warn you they're messy like i made sure that they weren't used I made sure, but they're definitely messy packaging, so jot that down. Okay, so the first thing that I got was the Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation. This is in the shade Buttercup. I think it's going to be a tad too light for me, but I can always bronze it up, you know, with bronzer. It's not too bad. They had one that was a shade too dark, but it's a little bit harder for me to lighten a foundation than it is to darken one. This is originally $44. I bought this when it first ever launched and I loved it. And I just never rebought it for some reason because I had so many other foundations that I was just like, okay, you need to chill. But it was one of my favorite. However, this one was $7.99. On sale right now at Ulta, it looks like they're $11, so they're probably discontinuing these. So I was really excited to find this because I was going to actually buy that one because it was on clearance or on sale for so at Sephora for $11, but $7.99, hey. And then this is my second favorite Becca foundation. Um, I don't know if they make this anymore. So the next one I got is also a Becca foundation. This is the Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation, and I got it in the shade cafe for $9.99 like see it's dirty but this one was never opened it's just because they get tossed into like other things that have been opened so this one it, I find it very strange that these are in TJ Maxx and Marshalls right now um this one was in Marshalls because this is still $44 on the Sephora website the packaging is the same so I've had this one before but the packaging was different. It came with like a kind of um, darker cap or darker lid and the bottle was frosted. So I believe they like revamped it, but I did really like it when I had it. I'm just a little confused as to why this was in there because they didn't discontinue it. So if you know like all the tea of like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and how it works and why they get products that are still full price on the shelf at Sephora, go ahead and let me know down below, but I have no idea. So, but I was like $9.99. Thank you. So I usually go to a app called or website called checkfresh.com and I will put in the name of the brand and the batch number on the item. However, Becca is not on that website. I don't know if there's any more. I don't have any other ones that I use. So, but sometimes I like to do that from TJ Maxx just to see if the product is expired and that's why they're selling it so low. But unfortunately, I cannot check it on this one. So we're just gonna have to go with it. So the next thing that I got was a Milk Makeup Foundation Stick, and this is in the shade Medium Beige. So this is the container it comes in. It is really dirty because it's white, and I did um, open it just to make sure it wasn't used. So it's a stick foundation, super little, super white. Oh, and it's a little bit too orange for my skin tone right now. So in the summertime, this will be fine, but it comes in like this little, little tube. It's super cute. I really love it. I've never tried their foundation, at least not their stick foundation. So I'm excited to try that. So this one was $9.99, which I think is very weird because all of the other ones I picked up and was looking at in different shades were $5, but this one was not. So wish I would have known that I just would have gotten a lighter shade and just darkened it up if I had to save me $4.99. So the next thing I got was another foundation. This was definitely a haul of foundation and this is the Pretty Vulgar Cool AF Lava Water Foundation and this is in the shade 4-3. So I actually only have two items from Pretty Vulgar, and this is in the shade, oh, not 4-3, 43, and it's Skin Tees. But I literally only have two other products. It's a bronzer I got from BoxyCharm, and then a setting spray I got from TJ Maxx. So I figured I like those two things a lot. They are literally one of my favorite, mainly because the packaging is so cute. Like when I get my new setup behind me, these items are going to just be chilling. Like this is so cute. Look at the detail in the roses down at the bottom, the little bird. It's so cute. And look at that. Oh God, it's so cute, but I've never used it. So if you guys have used this foundation, go ahead and let me know what you think down below. I got it for $11.99. So I don't know how much it is usually. I can take a peep. 
So, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is $39 on at Sephora. $39. I didn't know that they were that expensive. I had no idea. But it's so weird because they only have a couple colors on their website. They only Sephora only has five of their colors on their website. That's kind of weird, right? I don't know, but it was $39. I got it for $11.99, so I'm super, super excited. So the last two things I got are hair care items. I got the Bedhead Showdown Anti-Frizz Hairspray. I got it on clearance for $6. Um, it is a smaller can than what I usually like, but this says compressed lasts as long with 56% less packaging. So are they trying to tell me like, okay, so 5.5 ounces actually equals 10.6 ounces. Like I'm still gonna spray this like shh all over. So I feel like you're just like, you're trying to get people for their money. That's what you're doing because no one's going, oh, it's condensed. Let me just No, we all just go So you're gonna use it the same. You're just gonna smaller one for the same price. But it was $6, so I was like, why the freak not? And then the last hair item was the Foxy Curls by Bedhead. I use this all of the time. I buy this all of the time. And it usually costs me, I believe, like $7.99, $8. Oh, God. But this one was on clearance for six. So I use this for my curls. I absolutely love it. And I've been using it for a very long time. So I was super excited. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, yep, mine. Thanks. Bye. So I was looking at my older one to see if it had a price tag because I thought it was $7.99 usually, but the clearance before the $6 was eight. Okay, so this is usually $9.99. I got it for six bucks, that's not bad. And I usually pay 10 bucks a bottle, like this one's almost gone. So I was like, I need to get this. So I got me some for $6. But that is it guys, that is my little mini Marshalls haul. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you guys have been to a Marshalls lately. This is like the first time in over a year that I have been to a Marshalls. So I was really kind of excited to find the things I did. I was really excited to find foundation. I got four new foundations and that is like amazing considering most of these were literally so inexpensive, I think for like, what 50 bucks i just got four foundations that are usually really really expensive so i was really excited about that i hope you guys liked this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up as always make sure you are subscribed to my channel i do five videos a week and one blooper video every saturday and i will see you guys on the next one bye